Premier League returns today, and the champion has basically already been crowned. Liverpool has such an enormous lead over everybody else that they are going to clinch the Premier League championship. And, yeah, for you, you're loving it, but I'm wondering if the championship now for fans that are going to be watching the Premier League, they're not going to be watching who's going to win the title of the Premier League. What are the next biggest storylines surrounding the return on the field of the league? Well, I think, D.A., I mean, you've been hugely disrespectful, and I love you so much, but I'm expecting a, a, a Gundy-style apology for what you've said to all of the <laughs> Liverpool fans. Okay, just wear the appropriate T-shirt, please. <laughs> uh, Liverpool winning their first title in 30 years is um, just like when the Dallas Cowboys finally, if they do get over the line with Dak Prescott, <laughs> that, is the, that is what we're talking about. Because when all this stopped for Liverpool in 1989-90, they, the, they had the leading amount of titles. They had 18 English League titles, top flight titles. Nobody else had anything close. And nobody in 1990 thought it would be 30 years before they clinched their next one. So, so this is huge. And they've got two games, six points effectively to get that done. Although if Man City lose today, then it all goes down to the Merseyside Derby on Sunday. But I, I, will, I will cede to the fact that there are other interesting <laughs> stories here. And I would, say, I would say the race for Europe. We don't know what the Court of Arbitration for Sport is going to rule on Manchester City's case, the financial fair play. They could be thrown out of European competition, which would mean that the fifth place spot in the Premier League, whoever finishes there, is going to get into the Champions League, which would be amazing. But if we look at, you know, just the table right now, I think Leicester City are going to do it there in third right now. But Leicester City into the Champions League is, is no joke either. But you've got Sheffield United, Wolverhampton, Wolverhampton Wanderers, Manchester United and Chelsea all vying for another spot in there. It's just, I, I think that's going to be one of the most intriguing races. And the idea that there could be a Wolverhampton Wanderers or a Sheffield United in the Champions League next season is, is just such a tasty, tasty prospect. And I think a lot of people will be focusing on that because don't forget the, uh, how many fans of Chelsea and Manchester United are American. There's a huge amount. And, you know, while I expect Chelsea to get it done, it's not very clear cut for Manchester United. There's a lot of work to be done in this comeback. Can they get the form back that they had going into the, uh, going into the break, so to speak? And, uh, and just the idea for me that, that these two, quote-unquote, unfashionable sides like Wolves and Sheffield United could be in with the big money guys, the Real Madrid and the Barcelonas next season. I mean, that really is probably the biggest story outside of uh, Liverpool romping home.